Welcome back. I'm Pratap here. Today is the 17th May 2024. In this video, let us evaluate the performance of high liquidity zones generated in our yesterday's report. Yesterday, we identified four high liquidity zones. Out of these four stocks, we got two trades today. In, I mean, uh, three trades in two stocks we got. So before we look into these trades, an announcement please. If this is your first visit to our channel, please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action. All the training videos are available at our Neo Stock YouTube channel. And from our channel, click on this community tab and then you can find this post. This post is having a link, a YouTube link that will take you to the playlist having all the training videos. Just click on this link. I'm clicking on this link. Now we get into a playlist called Supply Demand Zone Price Action Course. In this playlist, we have all the training lessons. So far, we have over uh, around uh, 57 videos are available. You just uh, scroll down to the bottom of this space. Here, uh, starting from lesson 1.1, all the training videos are available in an order. So please go, go through all these lessons one by one and strengthen our skills related to supply demand zone price action. I have also provided the link to our telegram channel in this YouTube video description. Please join in the channel. It will be helpful to you. Each time when we release a new YouTube video, we'll provide an update in the channel. Apart from that, any other important updates also we'll provide in the channel. Now let's get into the analysis discussion. Yesterday we identified four high liquidity zones. Out of these four stocks, we got uh, trades from two stocks. The first one is uh, Alchem. Alchem has given multiple trades today, but mainly I am tracking two trades from this stock. This is a daily high liquidity zone. We have a rally, five base candles and a drop candle. So this daily zone, again, we fine tuned with five minutes time frame, sorry, 75 minutes time frame. So in the 75 minutes time frame, we have a rally, we have a base candle, and then we have a drop candle and a follow through candle. So this is the 75 minute zone, rally base drop. So within this 75 minutes, again we fine tuned with 15 minutes time frame. So I'm going to the 15 minutes time frame. So in this 15 minutes time frame, we have identified a drop candle, four base candles, and again a drop candle, drop base drop. So in this 15 minutes area, again we need to find June with 5 minutes time frame. So I am going to the 5 minutes time frame. Let me zoom. So here you have a drop, base, drop. This is the way you can draw a 5 minute zone. Or even you can consider this is a drop, two base candles and drop that way also. But this is nothing wrong. This is a perfect zone, drop, base, drop. This is the fine tuned 5 minutes. Apart from that, here again you have, see this is the 75 minute zone, right? Within this 75 minute zone, here we have a fine tuned 5 minutes zone. How we have drawn this? Let me show you. Let me go back to the 15 minutes time frame. So this is the fine tuned 75 minute zone. This fine tuned 75 minute zone is created this entire 75 minute zone is created by picking the orders from this rally base drop this is the 15 minute zone 
previously we learned this strategy i gave you an overview about this strategy in our uh, daily hlq analysis videos but also i will make a separate video on this in our training videos also this is a very powerful uh, strategy what we discussed about this strategy a lower time frame zone is the responsible for the creation of the higher time frame zone in such kind of situation the lower time frame zone is having a strong order flow this is what i told you so this is the 15 minute zone responsible for the creation of this 75 minute zone and moreover this 15 minute zone is overlapped with 75 minute zone at the distal line most of the time this overlap you see at the distal line so that's why we should be very careful with this kind of zones because they have very strong order flow so this 15 minute zone we find you with 5 minutes time frame this is what you should understand and even that 5 minute zone is also overlapped with 75 minute zone see here we have a drop base drop this is the 5 minute zone inside 15 minute zone both 5 minute zone and 15 minute zone are overlapped with this 75 minute zone and this 75 minute zone is again inside the daily high liquidity zone so this is the way you can plan another trade here you should not say this zone is already tested maybe it is tested but this zone is responsible for the creation of this entire zone maybe there will be a strong order flow if at all you don't want to take we have only one doubt because the order flow went very close to the distal line of the fine tuned 5 minute zone maybe if you have any such kind of doubts probably we can leave this zone we can observe what is really happening if the risk of the 5 minute zone is very less there is nothing wrong in trying for another trade anyway today we didn't get a trade in this area but remember most of the times such kind of zones are giving a very good profits this is what we have seen previously this is a new strategy we identified recently probably a month onwards for the last month onwards because i've been observing this uh, price action for a long period after i confirmation i have revealed this strategy to you guys anyway next lesson in our training lesson that is lesson 22 at present we are learning a lesson 21 once we complete lesson 21 in the next lesson lesson 22 i will address about this particular new strategy we identified recently in our training videos but meanwhile today what kind of trades we got prices today prices did not enter into this fine tuned 5 minute zone which is responsible for the creation of the zone instead prices entered into this zone and gave multiple entries probably this could be a high liquidity zone this is a drop base drop could be a high liquidity zone why we are saying this could be a high liquidity zone because this is a fresh zone the reason is because of the price action happened today we got an entry while it gave an entry an interesting price action happened based on that price action we are assuming this is a high liquidity zone i am assuming so what kind of price action happened see here we got an entry here today at 1215 candle even the next candle also we got an entry in case if you missed but here the point you have to observe here it created a drop based drop a new zone is created from this zone generally what happens at a high liquidity zone only such kind of price action you will see high liquidity zone is having the ability to create new zones maybe in the lower time frame or in the same time frame because 5 minutes is our last time frame so within the 5 minutes a new 5 minutes lotl zones are cre getting created in that case the same 5 minute zone we will take the entry the high liquidity zone 5 minutes 
next time again prices but meanwhile what is our target see our 15 minutes target is not very clear see here we are seeing a, a drop base candles rally it's very very far away but this structure is not very clear we have a drop see prices are moving up not moving in a narrow range moving up 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 we have a rally not a great leg out but okay so we don't know this structure is good or not but what i observed is in 5 minutes time frame this 5 minute zone is looking very solid already we have a rally candle or this is a leg in candle base candles and a rally this is the first 5 minute zone definitely first 5 minute zone will be violated why it will be violated because the high liquidity zones always they tend to give your targets up to 15 minute zone and here we have a another 5 minute zone below this maybe this can also be might be violated but prices will go down but when i looked into the price action see here the momentum has slowed down here so see from here a huge rejection rejection means the price is moving away from this zone after we got the entry and then the price movement has becoming slow down and one more point why i am believing uh, this zone will give this will be become our target from here to here it has given 7.1% roi what is our average roi intraday 6% from here to here already we got 7.1% that is more than our average roi so that's why definitely we can book a profit here if you are expecting even more maybe you have to go for a 1 minute trailing stop loss that way you should have planned if that is the case if you would have looked for 1 minute trailing stop loss see here we have a drop base a drop see here this is violated somewhere here you would have exited somewhere here you would have exited in case if you are expecting more profit if you are not believing this will this won't be violated or you are believing this will be violated and go further go down you should go for a 1 minute trailing stop loss the nearest one is this is the one drop base drop somewhere here your uh, zone is violated 1 minute zone you have to exit if that is the case you would have got maybe around uh, maybe 5% roi or 5.5% roi you would have got or maybe close to 6% roi you would have got if you would have booked here you you are already got 7.1% roi when prices are entering into this zone just before the zone you you, you have to exit anyway prices entered inside but just generally before entering into the zone maybe 1 rupee before or 2 rupees or 3 rupees before because it is a highly expensive stock or maybe 5 rupees before you would have exited but what is the maximum roi if you are exited here you would have got 7.1% roi see here alcam has given 6900 rupees profit which is 7.1% roi but the point you should understand alcam has created a new zone rally base drop this zone confirms this could be the fine tuned 5 minute zone could be a high liquidity zone see once again price has came they didn't reach up to the 5 minutes area again but see prices came down and there is a rejection continuation to the rejection see the price action that means there is a strong order flow available in this area who is the reason for behind creation of this strong rejection institutions might have created a strong order flow see that's why observing the price actions are very important so where you can find go one more time frame below that is a 1 minute time frame below 5 minutes see here you can see a rally base rally a rally candle and an excellent follow through candle 
this is the area there could be a strong institutional order flow see here prices enter into this zone and see the rejection and continuation to this how the movement price movement And finally reached this fine June five minutes zone, just five paisa difference. Generally, you place your order before this. That means they almost reached this five minutes. You got a second entry here. Let me go to the five minutes time frame. So this is the second entry you got. This is the first and this is the second. Sorry, it's not five paisa. It is a uh, one rupee, around one rupee, one rupee five paisa something. Because this is a five thousand rupees stock, right? Yeah. But the question is, is it going to reach this target? Definitely, we cannot say yes. It may reach or it may not reach. The reason is this five minute zone is an obstacle. Because a strong order flow, that this rejection is indication. Now you have to take a decision. Can we plan a? Can, can we exit here instead of here? We can exit. Yes, you can exit. You are also having good RR. Around one point seven or one point eight RR is there from here to this one minute zone. And ROI also it's more than. Uh, Four, four, uh, more than four ROI we have, and this is the way. In the second trade, if you exit in this one minute zone, you would be getting a profit four thousand two hundred eighty eighty five rupees, which is four point four percent ROI. The second trade in the same above zone, but one minute demand zone is the target. This one minute demand zone. But one more observation. What happened? Again, it created one more five-minute zone rally base drop from this zone. So this five-minute zone is again responsible for creation. See here, you have a rally base drop. Another supply zone is created. And then reach it this one minute. After that again one because institutions kept a very strong order flow. It didn't allow prices to go below. Because we predicted how we predicted by seeing these rejections. There is a big rejection and continuation to that. See the the flow. The I mean uh, uh, the price action. How it moved up. That's why. You should always concern about such kind of price actions. If you are blindly believing on these zones, it will reach. Many times you lose your profit. See, if you would have booked your profit here, how much profit you got? Very good profit. You got 4.4 percent ROI. First one has already given you 7.1 percent. Again, 4.4 percent. And once again, prices reached into this fine-tuned area. But this is the last one hour of the trading. Again, here, if you missed one more opportunity, 2:45. This is at 2:20. But what could be the target? Because the last one hour, I told you, you should look for only five minutes target intraday trade, pure intraday trade. See, you have a drop base rally. Actually, it is not a drop base rally. The reason is, this is a drop candle. This is the close. If you add the hidden body, this is a rally. This is a drop. This is a rally. There is no base candle. But approximately, you can identify something somewhere here. That way. But anyway, prices came very close to this. But didn't reach. Just one rup one rupee above. Again, they moved up. And from here to here, again you have 
around 3.8 percent ROA it has given from here to here. But anyway, I'm not considering this is the last one hour trade, and the five minute structure is also not really good for identifying your demand zone. You have to rely on this only. If anybody would have taken a trade, he would have got again another 3.8 percent ROI. He would have got. But I am considering only the first two trades. This is the first one, and this is the second one. If anybody would have taken a third trade, also he would have got a good profit here. But actually, we expect to take a entry here in this. because if you take here your uh, stop loss should be here and then your risk will be increased so you take close to this zone maybe 1 rupee 2 rupee below this zone maybe you would have got this entry or slightly you might have missed but anyway uh, my interest is on only these two trades which we already registered in our excel sheet but i'm what i'm trying to tell you is there was an opportunity third opportunity also you got here and which we would have resulted as a successful trade and you would have got a good money and finally what happened at the closing hour of the market the last 15 minutes this zone is violated cuz this is a 5 minute zone definitely after few tests it will be it has to be violated so finally at the closing hours it is violated but prices came close to next fine tuned zone the one we fine tuned which is the responsible for the creation of 75 minute zone but they didn't it didn't reach but came very close last last 5 minutes time frame and finally the candle is closed this is what happened to the alchem and the next one is tata steel Tata Steel is a 75 minutes high liquidity supply zone. So here we have a rally, three base candles and a drop candle, follow through candle. This is what the high liquidity zone identified by our Neo Stock software, and this 75 minutes zone I fine tuned with the 15 minutes time frame. here you can consider this as a erc candle failed erc candle as a leg in we have one two three base candles and a drop candle so this is the way we have identified the 15 minutes time frame inside this 15 minute zone again we fine tuned with 5 minutes time frame zones so here we have a drop 1 2 3 4 base candles and a drop this is a 5 minutes zone and again here we have a drop base drop 5 minute zone is there which is overlapped with this the 15 fine tuned 15 minute zone and also the 75 minutes high liquidity zone previously i told you in the previous talk we discussed about such kind of strategy the lower time frame zone which is responsible for the creation of the higher time frame zone will be having a strong order flow let me draw week to week see here drop base drop already this zone is tested here next in the second test this entire high liquidity zone creation is started 75 minutes again third test again fourth test multiple times this zone is tested but here what i did for risk management point of view the type 2 proximal it's a very minimal only anyway it's very minimal see here the 15 minute zone is overlapped the 75 minute high liquidity zone is overlapped with this 5 minute zone which is responsible for the creation of this entire 75 minute high liquidity zone so definitely this zone will be having a strong order flow 
okay and here we have one more zone drop base drop so can we plan a trade here no we cannot plan a trade in this zone just for reference purpose i shown you i have to delete this zone why i have drawn just to let to just i want to tell you this zone is pierced already already it gave a test earlier see here it gave a test gave a very good profit this is the first test same intraday again second test it gave a very good profit after that again it gave one more test but slightly pierced again it gave a successful trade within the stop buffer on that day again once again it gave a very good profit so this zone gave again another profit very very good profit but pierced after pierced it came down now this zone is no more valid after that again this is a today morning prices came from here it came down this is only a lucky you cannot plan a trade here actually morning this zone has to be violated but maybe maybe there could be still some order flow might have been added it gave a push but this is not good enough for us to plan a trade the reason is this zone is violated it is only a lucky trade please remember we cannot plan a trade in this zone because it is violated once it is violated it is invalid so i am deleting this but what happened today see prices entered into this fine tuned 5 minute zone which one which is responsible for the creation of this entire 75 minutes high liquidity zone it gave a trade when it gave a trade at 12 o'clock 20 minutes see let me delete this entire 75 minutes zone and 15 minutes fine tuned zone now you see you get clarity this 5 minutes is the responsible for the creation and this is going to be the 15 minute zone target zone we got an entry here it reached the target and what is the rr 1 is to 3 rr is there from here to here there is a 1 is to 3 rr now you got the clarity how well this zone is working now let me add that uh, deleted zones see this is the 75 minute zone inside 75 this is the 5 minute zone and both these zones are overlapped by this 5 minute zone and this 5 minute zone is created before this high liquidity zone creation actually high liquidity zone picked up the order flow from this 5 minute zone and a new high liquidity zone is created that's why this 5 minute zone is a very important zone rest definitely we should not miss such kind of zones for taking the trades it looks like you are taking the trade second time yes we are taking second time because first time this is the responsible for the creation of high liquidity zone they work even second time or third time also mostly they work like a high liquidity zones even though this may not be high liquidity it may be or may not be this 5 minute zone it can be a normal zone also but still such kind of zones work like a high liquidity zone they support multi testing because their order flow is very strong that's why they are they become a horizon these zones become horizon for the creation of this entire higher time frame zones and here our higher time frame zone has become a high liquidity zone that is the reason why you should not miss the trade so in this candle at 12 o'clock 20 minutes candle it reached and finally at the closing hours at 15 uh, it reached the target you may see there is a small gap this is a, a five rupees i mean five paisa gap see here low of this candle the low of this candle is uh, 167 see our zone uh, entry 16695 paisa just five paisa difference generally exit uh, before the zone because it is only 167 rupees maybe some 15 paisa 20 paisa before you will exit and you book your profit 
some 15 or 20 paisa anyway that gap is only 5 paisa definitely you would have exited here you would have captured the maximum profit so how much profit it has given tata steel 7700 rupees which is 4.4% roi as per one futures margin cost so alcom has given two successful trades actually third one is also a valid but i didn't register because it is a last one hour trade intraday trade and apart from that tata steel is another successful trade today and remaining two stocks we didn't get a trade but let me show you how i find june one is metropolis this is a 75 minutes uh, high liquidity zone when this zone is created in 2022 this is created in the year 2022 we have a rally 1 2 3 4 base candles and a drop candle let me check this is a daily zone if i am not wrong sorry actually this is a daily zone this is a drop candle I had the hidden body this is a drop candle base candle and again a drop candle so this is the daily zone not 75 minute zone this daily zone again fine tuned with 75 minutes time frame how i fine tuned here we have a drop candle two base candles again a drop candle this is the way 75 minute zone is created within 75 minutes 15 minute zone is created it is exactly same as the technique we discussed the lower time frame zone responsible for the creation of higher time frame zone so here we have a drop base drop this drop base drop is overlapped with 75 minute zone at where it is overlapped at the digital line it is overlapped but remember one point there is a difference here here this zone is not created earlier this was not formed this is a drop base a drop and a 75 minutes zone creation parallelly at the same time they were getting created it's not that drop base a drop is already created and then later it cre it is uh, responsible for the creation of uh, 75 minute zone creation it's not like that see observe here this is a drop base drop this uh, drop candle is part of the 75 minute zone that means both 75 minutes and 15 minutes together they created first 15 minute zone creation is started and then 75 minute zone creation is started maybe one or two candles difference almost same time they were started creating so at the time maybe we i don't know we need to analyze such kind of scenarios more and more but anyway in this area you cannot fine tune with 5 minutes time frame the reason is uh, it is in the year 2022 in 2022 5 minutes data is not available in trading view so that is the reason why i couldn't find you on this zone but is anything happened in the recent time frame price has entered and a new 5 minute zone creation let us check now recently prices came very close to this fine tuned 15 minute zone they came very close and see the rejection they came down and also a new zone is not created so we cannot uh, take any action so we can't plan a trade also because we don't know the structure of 5 minute zone but one thing we can confirm based on this price action there is a strong order flow in this area so we need to take our neo stock software supply demand zone chain help because in uh, supply demand zone chain 
from 2022 January data is available with us. So we need to check if there is any fine tuned 5 minutes zone is available inside the, this area. Okay, and the last one is a PNB, Punjab National Bank. This is a 75 minutes high liquidity zone. I think previously we fine tuned this zone. But anyway, let me explain once again. I think this is a drop, base drop. This 75 minute zone. Drop base, two base candles and a drop candle. This 75 we fine tuned with 15 minutes. Because in the recent uh, price action, prices came very close to that. Here we have a drop base drop. This is not a great leg out, but okay, 15 minutes. Sometimes we can compromise and uh, draw to identify the order flows. Here we have again a 5 minute zone we need to identify. We have a drop base drop and this zone is uh, pierced. Actually, it gave a successful trade on that day. It is pierced, but it is within the stop buffer area and after that prices came down and gave a good return. So that is why we cannot plan a trade in this zone. But uh, above this there is again a drop base drop, this is a 5 minute zone overlapped with this zone. If you want to plan a type 2 proximal trade you can draw a zone like this. But why I am showing you like this? Just to let you know, this entire zone is overlapped with this zone. And this 75 minute zone, sorry, this is a 15 minute zone picked up the orders from this 5 minute zone. And then this 15 minute zone is formed. That means this 5 minute zone is responsible for the creation of this 15 minute zone. This is drop base drop is already ready before this 15 minute zone creation. And I just want to tell you this 5 minute zone is already pierced. So, it is no more valid. We cannot plan any trade in this. If at all you can plan a trade in this 5 minute zone, probably a strong order flow will be there. Anyway, today prices did not go. We did not get an opportunity. Exactly similar kind of setup we have seen Tata Steel. Tata Steel we got the, we got the profit today. That is what we discussed. Observe these kind of setups are giving good profits. This setup is a, a new setup I have identified in the recent period. I mean uh, last uh, one month onwards I have been uh, explaining you about this new setup having strong order flow. Hope you people are learning about this new setup. Hope you are understanding. If you have any questions. Uh, Please put them in the comment section about this new setup. Anyway, in lesson 22, I will focus on this uh, new setup so that it will be clear for everyone. So, this is about uh, stocks, uh, the high liquidity zones we identified from our yesterday's uh, list. Hope you are having some learning from this video. So, let us all meet again in our next video. Thank you.